when resetting your Wi-Fi from your box. Press the menu button once until the screen lights up. Hold the menu button down until it goes to setup. And then hold it down again for another five seconds. And I'll go to service menu. You'll have Wi-Fi reset. You don't want to touch any of this stuff except for Wi-Fi reset. You'll hit OK. And it'll ask you to clear the Wi-Fi. You'll hit OK. And it'll clear the Wi-Fi. This means there's a signal strength, a star nine. It could be an exclamation point C in your case. If you get disconnected, you'll still want to clear the Wi-Fi. This should take a couple of seconds. And then once it's done, you'll see the exclamation point C pop back up, and then you should be good to go back into your Wi-Fi setup process. Okay, let's open up our Jellyfish Cloud app. Perfect, from here we're gonna to go to settings. We're going to go to controller Wi-Fi. Okay, from here, it's a very kind of confusing process, but we are going to not close out your app, but just go to the settings on your phone and find the Jellyfish signal. So right there, we're gonna click on it. It's gonna ask for a password. We're gonna type in the password, big fish 10 and then join wait a second while that it's going to say no internet connection this is 100 percent fine you are now going to go back to the jellyfish app where you're going to hit next in the top right corner now it's going to search for any available wi-fi networks for it to connect to now the signal will only find 2.4 signals okay so you can find um, 2.4s if you're having difficulty, like I did, I put an extender out in my garage and I choose that one. Extenders should have the same exact password. Now don't, now go up to next in the top right corner again. And now you're gonna type in your internet password for your home. And then hit next. Now it's critical that your password is correct at this point because if it's not, it will go through this whole process and then it will not work, okay? So make sure that the password is correct and this should take, you know, three to five minutes. Okay, now we're back. If the process worked, then you should have a star nine in the top right corner of your Jellyfish controller box, okay? Now, you still won't be able to use this on your patterns because you have to add it to the account. So from here, we're going to go into settings, we're going to go into controllers, and we're going to hit the plus button in the top right corner. It's going to search and try to find any controllers that are already connected. It won't have a name, it'll usually just say jellyfish and have a, a number, and that's fine. You're going to go ahead and hit add, and you're gonna be able to name the controller okay you can change the name to whatever you want it to be um, and then you hit add in the top right corner and boom has been an to your account now if you have a another controller out in your shop or anything like that, you can add another one, or just hit finished adding controller. And once you fin hit finish adding controller, it's going to add the controller to the account. Um, there are times when you do it and this is blank, that's okay, go ahead and hit that top left back button. Should bring you to here. You can go ahead and click on controllers again and see if your controller is showing up. Um, it should say the controller name right there. You can delete it if you want. Now, if it's not showing up here, don't worry. Go ahead and hit the back button again, and then go ahead and select the patterns in the bottom left-hand corner. And if you see all of this, great. Your thing is set up and you should go in and you can start changing patterns. If you don't see this, close the app out completely and reopen it. And if it never shows up, then that means that something has went wrong and we're going to have to redo it.